welcome to ABPMC 2019, Miss Cindy from Paxos. And Cindy is going to tell us what is her company about. And uh, let's start. Okay, hello, ma'am. Well, welcome to ABPMC. Uh, thanks, Miss Neil. Uh, thanks for having me on this interview. So, a bit about Paxos is we're a trust company that's regulated by the New York State Department of Financial Services, um, and we're trying to create an environment where people can own physical assets. Uh, efficiently through tokenization of gold um, and just make the market a bit more easier in which to transact with. I specifically work in the post-trade services part of it where we offer a platform that automates uh, the activities once a trade is executed for various types of entities in the precious metals market. You have been here, you know, right now you were talking about, you know, public blockchain and private blockchain right now you are talking about. So tell us something about it. Okay. So there's uh, many people don't know that you get a private blockchain and a public blockchain. So on a private, it's a pretty much a closed network. So it would be like one company offers a token on their network and you can only trade it within that network. Whereas with a public blockchain, which is where Paxos is launching their token, um, you can trade it across various different types of partner systems. So you can transfer it into a different crypto or to different token. You can redeem it elsewhere. So it's much more accessible and creates more liqu liquidity. Tell me about the blockchain technology you use after post-trade. Um, yes, so we use the blockchain technology to back up our system or create the system of post-trade. So it's just a more secure way and it's built a confirmations platform. Um, so our engineers, I'll be honest, I'm not very clued up in the engineering aspect of it, so they're the ones who built it, but um, it works very seamlessly, it's very secure, so data that comes in there is quite secure, you can trace it and track it quite easily. Nice. So, what are the solutions do you provide in the bullion industry, gold bullion industry? Um, so, the solution mostly is going to be our token gold. Um, we hope that it will be accepted by the wider bullion market industry because it is backed by physical. So, it's a, you know, it's going to be regulated, it's a, a regulated entity. And, um, yeah, if you want physical, but with the ease of being able to transfer it, Pax Gold, go for Pax Gold. <laughs> Nice. So are the solution usually whatever you are providing is accepted in the Asian countries? Yeah, so our post-trade uh, confirmations platform, it reaches a wide range of uh, entities across the globe, including in Asia. Uh, we have lots of clients that trade with Asian counterparties or some of them are based in Asia. So we have seen acceptance of it and it is taking off. And, uh, you know, uh, once it has been accepted into the Asian countries, what is the customer response usually you find over here in the Asian one? Um, it's very good. So, as I said, the post-trade uh, solution, it just makes life more efficient for uh, entities. And once people start using it, then the feedback is really positive. Anything else you would like to add something? Um, no, well, just thanks for the interview. And it's been a really great conference, a very diverse range of people and attendees. So it's been really great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sunday. Thank you.